Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada dynamic data element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. The Avada dynamic data element is an inline element that can be added to any text-based elements across your site, including pages, postcards, and layout sections. So like any inline element, you can add it directly by selecting some text in the Live Builder. Let's look at a simple example. I've imported the Country Butcher pre-built here, and I have the Product Content Layout section open. I've added a text block into the layout, and currently this is just plain text. Let's replace this placeholder number with dynamic content. I'll just select my number, and this triggers the inline editor. And now if we go to add an inline element, you will see dynamic data is now one of them. So here you can choose from any of the dynamic data endpoints, and depending on which one you choose, you can also enter options such as the date format or the taxonomy and separator when choosing terms. That will all depend on the specific endpoint. As you can see here, there is quite a list of endpoints that can be added as dynamic data. What you see on this list will also depend on what plugins you have active, but this should give you some idea where this element can be used. For my example, I will search for product and select product total sales. By adding it in this way, you can edit it again, like any inline element. If I right click, I can reset, edit, or delete the inline element. I'll just delete it. There is also a second way of adding the element. With the cursor placed in the text, you can just add the left curly bracket, and this auto completes and adds the element into your text, again ready to populate. I'll just search for product again, and add product total sales. Okay, so let's save this. And now let's come to the shop and open a product. Okay, there's our dynamic data, showing how many times the product has been purchased. Because it's dynamic data, it's likely to be used mostly in layouts, or even postcards. But there are also many dynamic data endpoints that you could easily add directly into a page, such as ACF endpoints, site title, and permalinks. So it's incredibly flexible. The main benefits with the element is that it allows you to add dynamic data into an existing block of text, but also that you can add multiple endpoints into the same element. So in this way you could pull several dynamic data endpoints into one text block. Let's see an example of that. I have a blog post open here, and for this example I will add a string of static and dynamic text at the top. I have the single post content layout section open here, and I have added a container column layout and some text block elements with placeholder text. So to start, I'll just add my static text into the element. So now, if I place my cursor where I want the first dynamic data element, I will just add the first left curly bracket, and the element is added. Here I will just select post title. I'll just place my cursor in the next spot, and again add the first curly bracket. This time I will search for author, and select author name. One thing to note here is that there is also a new builder preference for inline dynamic data. So if I open the builder preferences and scroll down, we can see the enable preview for inline dynamic data preference with its always editing and never options. I'll just put this to editing. So now when I come back and edit the text block, we get a preview of the dynamic data I've already placed. Okay, back to adding more dynamic data. The date for the post is next. I'll place my cursor and add the first curly bracket. Here I will search for post and select post date. By default this is the post publish date, which is the one I want. There's also a format option here, but I will just accept the defaults. The second last one will be terms, and here I will select the categories taxonomy, and just add a separator. Finally I will add one more, and this time I will select reading time. There are also some possible values in this but again, I will leave it at the defaults. If we look in the editor now, we can see the shortcodes for the dynamic data element, and if I right click over any of them, we can see the inline element options. Okay, in the small column at the left, I will just select my placeholder text and enter the first curly bracket. And now from the dynamic data options here, I will choose display user avatar. Advanced users will be pleased to know that you can also just type the dynamic data syntax directly into the editor for any text-based content. It produces exactly the same result on the front end as the dynamic data element. Typing the syntax directly into the editor in this way adds the dynamic data, but it does not add the element. 
but if you know the name of the endpoints, this method is the quickest. I'll just add a version of the post info snippet using this method from the library where I saved it. And here you can see it's exactly the same on the screen as the one above, and will produce exactly the same result on the front end. But if I edit it, we can see in the editor that it's just the dynamic data syntax instead of the dynamic data element shortcode. OK, let's remove that now as we only need one of these. And now let's save that and go and look at a post. I'll just refresh this. And if we scroll down, there's our text block, dynamically pulling five dynamic data endpoints into the one element. Imagine how you could use this on your site. There are many ways to use the dynamic data inline element, and this can be used anywhere on your site, in layouts, directly in page content, and even in postcards. Anywhere you need it. Try it out. OK, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.